at this policy, zero analysis backed, mm. poorly thought, and it's changing every day. But the last I heard was that somebody from parliament, I've forgotten the, the man's name, uh, an honorable MP who mm -hmm. is on the committee on education, mm -hmm. suggesting that, oh, no, it's not Rick's school that will do double track. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. I mean, yes. complete disorder. I, I was actually Chaos. coming to that, yes. Chaotic. Mm -hmm. And so for me, really, this whole thing that we are doing because something has been thrust upon us, so we should do something. It is not true. I think, there was a lot Stevens, of data. I think he's a chair of the education committee. Right. In any mm. case, he spoke. Yes. Stevens he spoke. Yeah. And if everybody in government is allowed to speak their mind, like the Ken Oforiatas of this world, mm. who is Ken is the exchequer. He's the one looking at his computer forlornly and saying, guys, what are we looking at here? Can't we do this thing? But that conversation was had like yesterday. Mm. Anyone who is suggesting to us that because we, are, we have now have a problem trust upon us, I'm suggesting to the person that we saw this problem long ago. Some people thought through it. We spent days at Alisa with my folks because some persons in government today access to help with the policy and did the extrapolation. I'll share that data with you up to 2020. So we saw it. We liked it. And well, we, we suggested it. We didn't go for it. <laughs>